everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Huck. Today we are doing my January book haul and I have 10 books to talk about today, which is a slightly larger book haul for me. Part of that's because I feel like recently I've been trying to like restock my TBR shelf because I've been wanting to make sure that I have lots of adult fantasy on my shelf. Um, and then also January was just a big release month for the books that I am interested in and anticipating for 2021. So I have five new releases. And as always, I'm gonna start with the new releases. So first up, I have Across the Green Grass Fields by Shauna McGuire. This is, I think, the sixth book in the Wayward Children series, which is a series of novellas that follows um, kids who have traveled to portal worlds that are magical worlds that are like perfectly suited to their personality and then they come back to our world and are having trouble acclimating and so they live in the home for wayward children. Um, and in this series every other book is following kind of the current timeline that has that partially at least takes place at the school for wayward children and then every other book takes place in one of the magical portal worlds usually giving backstory to one of the characters um, that is in the current timeline at the school or at the home um, but this series I feel like is a staple of every January book haul I've ever done because we get one book in this series every January. And this one is one of the ones that uh, takes place primarily in one of those portal worlds. And in this, the portal world I think is called Hoofland and it is all like horse themed. So there are like all these different kinds of magical horses. I just kind of flipped through this and there are illustrations in here of like centaurs and kelpies and like other kinds of magical horses. Um, I am not really a horse person, but I'm sure that it's going to be a lot of fun anyway, just because I've, I really enjoy this series. Next is Remote Control by Nedia Korafor. This is another novella um, and in this our main character is able to kill with a touch and she is the adopted daughter of the Angel of Death and she has a fox companion and I don't know that much else about what the plot of this is but I'm so excited. Like adopted daughter of the Angel of Death and a fox companion it just sounds amazing and I have really enjoyed um, Nydia Korafor's Binti series before which is also a series of novellas so I'm really excited to have a new book and especially a novella from her because I feel like I especially get along with her novellas so I'm really excited for this and also I love this it's very shiny but I love this cover and next up is Hall of Smoke by H.M. Long and this I think is a standalone fantasy which has fickle gods and warrior priestesses which both sound amazing to me so I think in this our main character um, is a priestess and she is off on her own asking forgiveness like praying and asking forgiveness from her goddess um, so then when she returns back to where all the other priestesses are she finds out that they have all been killed um, and that sets her off on like a journey I think she has to hunt someone down and she finds out that there's like more complicated stuff going on with the gods than she really knew about I don't know I think that it's supposed to be kind of like Viking-esque I don't know too much more about it but I think that it sounds pretty interesting um, and it has a lot of elements that I enjoy because I love things with gods I like priestesses um, a Viking is kind of setting sounds fun to me and if it is actually a fantasy standalone that's also always interesting I love a fantasy series but it's also always interesting to have a standalone next we have into the heartless wood by Joanna Ruth Meyer this is a fantasy that is supposed to be very foresty because in it we are following uh, tree sirens so there are these like tree sirens who lure people into the forest and kill them um, but I think our main character is one of these sirens who ends up falling in love with a mortal human man and then she wants to become human to be with him but her having this connection to this human and wanting to become human herself kind of makes problems for like I guess the queen of the sirens because she has uh, some kind of conflict with the king of the humans so it kind of throws a wrench in that whole situation for them um, but this is described as darkly atmospheric which sounds amazing to me it's supposed to be very foresty which of course I'm excited about um, on the cover it looks like there is a woman with 
antlers or branches coming out of her head. So these are all things that make me very excited about this. And then the final new release that I have is The Forever Sea by Joshua Philip Johnson, which this has one of my favorite covers, like, that I have seen in a very long time. I just think this is absolutely beautiful. Um, partially, like, I love a color gradient, like, color gradients of any kind always get me. Um, anyways, so this is another fantasy, but in this, we're following our main character who is on a ship that sails across a sea of prairie grass, which I don't know how that works, but it sounds great. Um, and in this, so our main character, I think, is the captain of the ship when she hears that her aunt I think it's either her aunt or her grandmother. Oh, it's her grandmother. Um, so her grandmother, who was also a captain of a ship, has recently like stepped off the side of her own ship and disappeared into this sea of prairie grass. Um, but the main character finds out that it may not have been suicide, there may have been some other reason that she has like disappeared into this sea of grass. Um, and so she sets out to follow in her grandmother's footsteps and figure out why she would have done that and what like what's going on. And then I think that leads her to some larger things that are happening. I don't really know. But this I saw was described as eco-fantasy, which is a very interesting description to me, um, and I just think it sounds like it'll be really interesting. I like the idea of a sea of prairie grass. I don't know, it just is very intriguing to me. Alright, so now we are on to the section that is all of the other books that are not new releases, and first up I have The Wicker King by Kay Ankram. This is a, I think a YA contemporary, and I actually don't really know what this one is about. Um, I read another one of Kay Ankram's books in January and I really loved it and I'm going to be talking about it in my wrap up, but I decided to immediately get her other book. Um, so yeah, I don't really know that much about what this is actually about. I think one of the main characters um, is having like hallucinations and kind of having mental health issues and I know that in the book the way it's set up like the pages get darker and darker as his like mindset gets darker and darker which I just think is really interesting um, and as I said I really liked the other book that I read from this author and I think that this is supposed to have a really strong friendship in it and I know I really liked the friendship dynamics in her other book so I didn't really need to know too much about this in order to get it. Then I have The Palace of Illusions by Chitra Banerjee Devakaruni which I am not exactly sure what genre this would fall into. I think it's historical fiction. This is a retelling of the Mahabharata, uh, which is a Indian epic, and that might mean it might have some kind of fantastical elements to it, but I don't think that it's fantasy. Um, but this is a retelling from the perspective of a female character in the epic that we don't usually hear from, uh, whose name is Panchali, and she is the wife of the five Pandava brothers. And so I read the Mahabharata um, a long time ago when I was in high school and I really don't remember much about it but I remember thinking it was interesting so I'm really interested to see a retelling and I think that I might want to uh, kind of brush up on the story and just like read a synopsis to re-familiarize myself with some of the basics of the story and who some of these characters are because like I don't remember who Panchali is. Um, but I would like to have a little bit more context going into this because I don't remember the story very well. Uh, but I have heard amazing things about this. I really like these kind of stories that um, retell either history or mythology from the perspective of a woman who we don't usually get her perspective. Um, that's kind of a setup that I have read a couple of times and I tend to really enjoy so I'm really excited about it for that reason. And then also this author, um, I've heard great things about her writing style and I think that she also writes poetry and so I feel like that might lend to this having a more poetic writing style which is something that I really enjoy. So there are a lot of things about this that make me think I will like it and I also really hope I like it because I know that this author has another book that I think is called 
The Forest of Enchantments, which first of all is a great title that very much intrigues me, but is another retelling, um, I think it's a retelling of the Ramayana, which is another Indian epic, uh, which I also read and I remember really liking that one. I remember that one a little bit better actually, um, but I'm very excited about this. I hope that I love it because I would also love to read that. She has a bunch of other books, but I'm especially interested in The Forest of Enchantments. Then I have The Wayfarer Redemption by Sarah Douglas, and this is a adult fantasy that is one of those fantasies that I have seen on shelves for years and debated whether I wanted to read them or not, and then I just recently decided I'm finally going to try a bunch of these adult fantasies that I've kind of been eyeing for years and like could never decide about, and I'm just like, you know what? We're gonna try it and if I don't like it, fine, but I want to at least give it a go. Um, and I've heard good things about this. I actually don't really know what this book is about because as I said, it's just one that has been like in my awareness for a while, but I've kind of forgotten what it's about. And even from reading the description, it's like, I don't know, it says a lot of words, but it feels very vague to me. So I'm not sure what the main thrust of the plot is. Next up, I have Firethorn by Sarah Micklem. And this is a fantasy that I have never heard of before, but I was looking around thrift books and it was suggesting this to me based on some of the other books I was interested in. And I just felt like this one sounded really interesting. Um, it's about this girl named Firethorn who escapes a life of servitude um, and like escapes into the woods. And then she encounters, I think, some kind of magical tree that gives her hallucinations, but then also maybe gives her magical powers. And when she emerges from the forest, she now has these powers and then I think gets swept up into either like politics or a war or something like that because now she has powers. I'm not totally sure, but I remember it sounding very interesting and I really enjoy this like kind of old school cover. And then another book that I got that I really love the cover for some reason is Mother Ocean Daughter Sea by Diana Marcellus. And this is another one that I had pretty much never heard of before and then it was suge suggested to me on thrift books and I saw this cover and I was like, this just seems like a thing that I would like. Especially also there's something about the title that just sounds like something I would enjoy. So it was all very intriguing. But then also I do think that the plot sounds interesting too. In this, our main character is the last of a magical race of witches who have healing powers, but all of her people have been killed and she has to hide her powers so that she will not also be killed, but her healing powers are meant to be used and I think she might be, feel like compelled to use them and so she has to kind of use them in secret and I think one day she ends up healing um, the wife of a nobleman and then that gets her some attention and then that draws her into some like larger politics and problems and I think there's also a romance in this but as I said one I love the cover and the title of this but also I love healing magic, um, so I'm very excited about this one and I hope that I really love it. This is the first in a trilogy, so if I do, then I have a whole trilogy to read. Um, but it just, this one just gives me a feeling, like I feel like this is gonna be up my alley. So those are all of the books that I got in January. I'd love to know if you have read any of these and what you thought of them or if any of them just sound interesting to you. Thank you all for watching and until next time, bye!